Today we normally would have had the 9-11 police and firefighters ball. So since it was COVID and we were unable to do that, uh, the foundation got together and decided that we wanted to do something for the police and firefighters um, this year especially. So we got together and decided to do thank you baskets for every police officer and every firefighter today. The support from the community is always absolutely amazing. Uh, this year, especially with everything that was going on with COVID, you always wonder if, if, if this is the year to do any kind of fundraising. And um, we found out very quickly once we started to tell them what we were doing. Um, everybody was very disappointed that the ball wasn't going to happen. Um, so they were very generous and very willing to give us um, funds to be able to uh, purchase the thank you baskets for all the officers. The Public Safety Foundation tried to make this a very special event uh, under the restrictions of COVID. So it had to be held outside with masks and, and things that we're just typically not used to. But they went out of their way to solicit uh, donations from the community, especially the business community, uh, which has supported us a great deal. So this afternoon the foundation came around to uh, every fire station, delivered a basket uh, for each firefighter and our fire administration staff as well. Uh, normally 9-11 that they would hold the ball for the police and fire fighters and their families to attend but obviously with uh, COVID this year that we have to do something a little bit different so they came up with the basket idea which is awesome. Every year we choose officer of the year and there's also firefighter of the year. Uh, officer of the year it, they are actually nominated by their peers and um, their nominations are sent over to us and we as a foundation then review all of them and you know ask questions of the chief and of some of their peers that nominated them and we vote and Casey King was our clear winner this year. I think the officers take a great deal of pride when they get this award. You know, we are up to about 62 officers so to be the one officer selected out of all those different officers that are all doing such good work, I think it brings a great deal of pride um, but it also brings a little bit of a responsibility because this gives them an informal leadership role where people are going to be watching them and how they do their job and emulating them. We also presented uh, the Firefighter of the Year Award to uh, Firefighter Tom Ness out of Station 1. Uh, he was not expecting this at all, did not know about it. Any firefighter that's receiving the award, whether here or at a banquet, it's something that, that we always shy away with. We're not ones that we want that recognition, but it, it's truly a team effort by all, and for a firefighter to receive that, that award is awesome, but yet there's all the firefighters that are helping that person achieve that too. And it's so very important right now when so often we see criticism of police officers to know that we're actually appreciated um, and supported. So it means a great deal to us. Prior to the foundation, we never saw support like this from, from any organization as far as that goes. Uh, so having the foundation is something that's awesome. We started the foundation because we wanted our police and our firefighters to know that they're supported. And even with everything that's going on, whether it's COVID, whether it's civil unrest, um, we're still here and we still have the same mission. I, I want the community and I want our police and fire to know that they're extremely um, supported by not only the foundation, but, but the community in general.